Good morning, everyone. I'm Veronica Casada, and today we are talking about how this woman funded her dream of traveling the world. 27-year-old Cassie DePeckel set out on her own groundbreaking adventure and has now officially become the first woman on record to travel to all 196 countries in the world. And the whole time you are in Goldman Sachs, you kind of had to live with the secret that you were holding deep inside of you. And I mean, Goldman Sachs is already a male, white-dominated mm -hmm. industry, and then you're a Latina woman, and then on top of that, you had another feeling of like, I don't belong, like there's no representation of me here. Yeah. How did you deal with that? Yeah. Um, you know, in some ways, uh, working in this super high-pressured environment was like the best thing I could do. Alejandro used to work at my dream childhood job, <laughs> being a host on Desperta America. My grandma and my mom used to watch this every morning, so I grew up watching this. And he was very successful there for a couple years, and then he left. Tell yes. me what happened. Um, well, I love Despierta America since I got to the United States in 2000. That was my dream job as well. It's very hard for minorities, especially minority women, yes. to see themselves being represented right. with, with business owners, CEOs, you know, entrepreneurs. It's very hard to see and find idols like that and you guys are representing that and you guys made it and you're here, have your own small business, it's being successful. What kind of advice do you have for those minority women that are like, like, I don't see anyone doing this, like it's very hard, it's not for me. Like what advice do you have for them? Well for me I think, you know, it starts with believing believing in yourself. So okay. everyone on Facebook is telling us to shut up and drink. Shut up and drink. They keep okay. wanting us to keep Cheers. drinking. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, right? Cheers guys. Okay, the second one. Did you guys get the orange to clear the... Mm. So that's a lot smoother, a lot sweeter. I mean, you're picking up kind of that... Those, those. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. It's full of vitamins. She now has more than 8 million subscribers on her YouTube channel. She has a cookbook out on her Nerdy Nummy show, which was a New York Times bestseller, and is releasing a brand new line of baking and cooking equipment this summer. The tech company is making over $1 billion in revenue. And what's even greater is that Nina started that with only $300. That's it. And now it's this huge company. It's amazing. And part of the reason that she's able to be so successful is because her mindset, how she thinks about things, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Today we are talking about how you can be a badass with money and start making more of it. After living in a garage and getting tired of being broke, Jen Sincero changed different aspects of her life to make more money, and she now travels the world and is living the luxury life she's always wanted. In her new book, You Are a Badass at Making Money, Jen tells us what steps she took to live the life she wanted and how you can do the same. I'm here with Bethany Moda. We're talking about her new book, Make Your Mind Up, which comes out tomorrow, right? Yeah! I'm so excited! So, so, well, part of the book that I really like is when you mention how you decide whether you're going to splurge on something or save. Mm -hmm. What's your thought process behind that? So for me, I find I only really splurge on items that are kind of staple pieces. Okay, so we each brought our own suitcases. I brought my seven, eight-year-old one, and Josh brought in his Raiden one. Do we want to show the... Yes. The goods, let's see. Let's so show the goods. This is this the Raiden. This is the Raiden. Let's take a look. Raiden carry on. Let's take a look at yours. Okay. Guys, don't, don't judge. Don't be embarrassed. Okay, mine is old, okay? And it was like 40 bucks. So, this is mine. <laughs> All right, well, mine it's, looks like an iPhone. Yours looks... Looks like an Android? No an, shade. I don't know. Shade, yeah. <laughs> no I don't know. We'll see. You've been doing a lot recently. You're involved in the community. You volunteer. You teach. You're serve on a couple boards. How do you find the time to do all of this and stay sane? <laughs> well, to that point, because I love what I do and uh -huh. I'm really passionate about it. 